lecture by CYC Chen Xinbian. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Make sure have your tools ready. Okay, today we are going to learn how to be the Picasso. Okay, so as we know, Picasso is the famous artist, right? A pencil for now and an eraser for short. Okay, so first we have to lay out. We have to make sure everything can fit into our joint, right? Because there are a bunch of the things. So first, we are going to do the head. So you don't need to worry about what kind of people, what kind of animal you want to do for today. We just simply to place the head first. So we want to have a circle, but not too big, super super light, right at the center, not too big. Okay. Then we will have the body like the rectangle. And I warm his stem up. So two legs, shoes, so oval. And I warm my hands. Carry a umbrella. So I'm going to have a light crossover on the top. Okay, crossover on the top. So make sure this light is fully cover this object, this person. Okay. Then I want to find the center point of the light, the center, half, half, the center, all the way up. Oops, sorry, it's not straight enough. I need a straight line. And stop here. A curve. Okay. Now I'm going to have a light all the way down. So my hand is carry that, and one hand can goes down or goes up. Your choice. So see, I got my robot people, and you can see that's an umbrella, right? So it's not actually what we want. For now, everything just the outline. So I know I can fit the character on my paper with a big umbrella. Okay, so I know whatever I add, I can fit everything I want on my paper. So that is how I, the layout works. Okay, so I will going to use some my marker to do the detail for the next step. But if you are afraid to making the mistake, you can use the pencil to do all the work. Then after everything looks good. Everything looks perfect. Now you can trace after you finish the pencil outlining. Okay. So first of all, I want to think who is this guy. Okay. So first thing, who. So let me write down. First, who is there? A person. An animal, or aliens, or monster, or skulls, or vampire, or a witch. Okay, so you have to think about who is that. If she's the person, who are gonna be? A girl, a boy, a woman, a man, a senior, your friend, your mom, or yourself. Okay, so think about it. Who? And if you want to do the animal, what kind of animal is that? Bunny, bear, raccoon, squirrel, or the fox? It could be more, even the reindeer, if you want to do it. Okay, so first thing about who. Second, what kind of clothes he wear? What kind of accessory he carry? Okay, does he wearing the raincoat? Does he wearing a big jacket? Does he wearing a a hat, a purse, a backpack, a lunch bag? Okay, think about the clothes. 
the outfits. Okay, think about that. Okay, if you have the idea, now you can start to go ahead to do the person. Okay, but I want to do the umbrella together before you actually start to do the person. So keep the question in your mind before we start to do the character. Okay, so first let's do the uh, let's do the our character uh, our umbrella first. Okay, so first. Again, if you are afraid to make the mistake, you can use the pencil to do it. So I will use the marker, you can see it. So we are going to do the arch, a curve, a nice and solid curve. Okay, and we are going to add in the curve line. So, so we will have the line until here, right? So give yourself a point, stop here. On the other side, stop there. Okay, so I want to add in a small wave line, a little bit curved, not straight, and the middle part will be a little bit longer until here, and shorter again. Okay, then you can add the decoration with the thin line. See, you can see the line way. I got the thicker line on the outside for the umbrella. But I start to add in the detail, then everything go more thin. Okay, so that's the line way. So umbrella the top. So of course you can design your own umbrella. So like mine, my umbrella on the top, I have the real one. It looks like the bunny. I got the bunny top. Okay, so maybe you got the flower top. I don't know because that is your umbrella. So you have to design by yourself. But before you do the detail, let's do the basic together. So we got the hair reel, right? So straight down, stop here. Straight down, stop here. Okay. And let's do the second part. And we will do that right here, like the candy cans. Okay, so I leave some space here because that is the hand and I haven't do my character yet. So I have to leave that for now. Okay, so now we finished the umbrella. Now it's really your time. Okay, so you don't have to copy anything from me anymore. Now I want to start to go ahead to decorate your umbrella and think about your character. Who is the character? And what does he wear? Okay, so now you can begin to start. Okay, so while you are doing, I will start to do mine. I decide it is a little girl who is my daughter. She wearing the raincoat. Okay, so I know who is this the character, right? A person, a girl. And the clothes, he's wearing a rain jacket. Okay, and wearing the rain boots. So how about you? Okay, so think about it before you actually start to make your drawing looks more clarified with the clear idea. So I'm going to do mine. See, I finished the jacket, okay? So I'm start to add in the detail, the pocket. All right, so all the drawing need the detail. So even the buttons, the hands. So how many finger for the person has? Five, right? So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five. 
and she liked her wearing the skirt so I decided to give her a skirt she always want to be a princess so let me give her a skirt okay and she wearing a ram boot same thing the detail all the shoes got the base so we need to have a base Don't forget to connect the leg with the boot, okay? So you, we can start to think about the hairstyle, the face, right? So don't be the copycat. I believe you can do something even better, right? Okay, add some background. She's standing on the grass. You can add a mushroom. You can add the flowers, rocks, rabbits, froggy design, your character, okay? Any background. Anything that you think can make your joint looks better. Okay, so let me teach you how to do the hand to holding a subject, okay? So remember what we did there? We do the umbrella, right? So we have something right here and we stop here, right? And we continue to do the letter J right, right here, okay? So how to do the hands? So I use the blood marker so you can see it. So first, I'm going to add in the line, go over, so the right side is longer, the left side is smaller, okay? So let's do our first finger, from here, curve down, stop, and keep going, so I leave some small gap here, the second fingers, and the last one and the thumb is right here okay so that's the sleeve and the thumb is right here So when you're done with your character, decorations, and the background, now you can remove the pencil line that we don't need it. Then feel free if you want to trace with the Sharpie, okay? If you don't trace with the Sharpie, it is okay for me, but you have to make sure the coloring for you will be perfect, okay? Which means no white spots, no rough color all the color has to be clean inside the shape if you can do it then you don't have to trace if you think okay the coloring is a little bit challenge for you then you better to trace and don't forget to trace with the outline okay then after finish tracing is our middle break and after the middle break please come back and we are going to start to color with our pencil crayon Okay?
Break time for three minutes. During the break time, you can go to drink some water or your juice, and even you can have some snack. It is also a nice time for you to go to the washroom, and don't forget to wash your hand after you finish the toilet. And don't forget to move your body around. You can walk around, jumping up and down, and do some exercise for your body. And you also can look in out of the window, something far, far away to relax your eye. Using your break time wisely, okay? Do something that you should do right now, and don't forget to come back later. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, welcome everyone. So, I know you know how to color with your character and your umbrella, but before that, I want to teach you how to color the rain. Remember, it's the raining day. So, I want you to find the blue color. Could be sky blue. Could be like a uh, light blue. Could be navy or could be the ocean blue oh that's just a blue so either one okay so either one then we need the ruler if you don't have the ruler you can freehand it but if you have the ruler it will be easier so i will use the the sky blue to do it for today okay so all the rain has to be straight down like the vertical okay so i'm going to add in the dashed line like this the dashed line and all the line will stop at the umbrella all the rain is stopped on the umbrella all the dashed line if you don't have the ruler you can freehand it it has no issues with that see even i don't use the ruler i can do it Ruler just one of the tools to help you, okay? Ruler just one of the tools, so you can use that, but you can freehand it if you don't have one. Okay, but now it's all out of the umbrella, right? So now we are going to add in the red over, all the way down.
See all the rays on the top, then the side. Under the umbrella, there's no rain. But you said there's a rain behind, right? I know. So we are going to use a different color to present that. But not for now. Let's finish one color first. Okay? Let's finish one color first. So we can show the rain at the front, the rain at the back. Okay, so be patient. I know that's a lot of work to do, but it should look great. Try to add the dash line as much as you can so it looks like the rain, not the spot, okay? So try to do it as much as you can. See, even I'm still working for now, I'm still doing it. Done. See, all the rent is small. The gap in between the rent is smaller than my pencil. So you should do the same thing there. Okay? So if your blue color is right here, then I want to find another blue. See, I got four blue, right? So I choose the sky blue to color the top and the side. Now I use the dark blue to color the back a little bit. See, I leave the gap even bigger to present that as something behind. Okay, but don't put the rain over the character. Okay, the character should be dry because she or he or is wearing an umbrella. He carry an umbrella, so he should be dry. If you want to add some rainbow behind, feel free to do it. If you want to have the sunny day uh, with the rain, then you will see the rainbow a little bit. But that will be the background choice, so you can do that. Okay, now we finished the rain. It's your time to start to color your umbrella, your character, and your background. Now, go ahead. I want to see dark, medium, and light, the color value, and the blending color. Try to do it as much as you can. Okay, just quick reminder. Just quick reminder. Dark, medium, and light, the color value. Okay, so try to do the color value as much as you can. And remember, we learn about the color blending. So remember the color blending, dark, medium, and light. Then we use another color to do dark, medium, and light to join two color in one. Okay, now you can begin to keep doing your colorings. I just do the quick reminder for you. What is the color volume? What is color blending? Color value, color branding.
okay so remember you have to keep all the color as the mixed color color blending either color volume okay no flat color everything looks like has the shadow okay so that's how you need to do that's why you need to do the color value and color blending okay so because it's raining right so we should have a small water pump so we can have some water drop the water pumps a little bit blue somewhere here so it looks like the floor is wet right so it'll be blue and don't forget we got the shadow so we were going to have the shadow under our character whatever is the bear is the person is the monster they go got the shadow so don't forget to add in the shadow okay and the background color will be any color you need maybe you don't have the grass but maybe you have the mushroom you got the snail you got the snake rocks house or the full lens okay even the rainbow you need to color the color for the rainbow otherwise how can you say that it's a rainbow right so use the right color to color your background but don't forget we need to have the shadow under the character and that's the water pump for that so i'm going to color the floor color And I shading a little bit the sky color at the bottom. Dark, medium, and light to make my drawing look more complete. Okay, so when you finish, you know that we have to sign the name. Write out the date for today. When you complete your drawing, sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后，签下你的名字，并写上日期。Don't forget to take a photo of your drawing and send it to us. 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片，寄给我们哦。And don't forget to clean out the table before you go. 不要忘记清洁你的桌子哦。Bye bye. See you next time.